Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. I'm very sorry that uh, I have not made any videos for a long time. I was since busy with my work. So in this video, I'm going to start uh, one more sketcher and with a sketcher uh, example. So I'm taking around uh, 10 sketcher examples so that I can later I can move on to 3D modeling as well as uh, surface modeling. So uh, it is very important you need to be very specific, be very confident in the uh, sketcher environment. So I'm just uh, starting this example and taking this example uh, for today. So as you can see here, um, there is a slot here with a radius of 40, 50 and as well as 25 and 35. And you can see here, this is there is an angle of uh, 25 degree here. And there are circles around here and there, is, there, are, also, there are also circles over here. So let us start this. Let us go to NX. So we will create a new sketcher environment. So let us go to sketch and uh, select any of the plane and click OK. So it will take you to the sketcher environment. As you can see here, all the sketcher uh, commands are available. So what I will do is I will just uh, start with this circle. So let us make this as a my coordinate system. So as you can see here, there are uh, two circles with a 40 and uh, 50 radius. So it means 80 and uh, 100 mm uh, uh, circles. So I'll just make it to 80 and uh, the next one is uh, around 100. So as you can see here, it is uh, drawn here, low as C for the constraints and uh, let us give a concentricity between these two. So now we got uh, two circles with uh, 80 and 100. So as you can see here, there are uh, again two circles, 25 and 35. So let us make it quickly. So I'm just going to make uh, 50 mm as well as 70 mm. Uh, also, you can just uh, point it on here and uh, let us make them concentric. So I'll just draw the connecting uh, line between these two circles. So we got a line and let us make this line as a construction line. So as you can see here, this is a construction line icon as well as you can find it uh, convert to reference. So once this is converted to reference, as you can see here, um, this line is having around 25 degree angle with a vertical line. So let us give an angle between the those two. So angle between this uh, Z axis and this reference line will be 25. So now, as you can see, the, this dimension is missing. So let us give this dimension as 150. So already given. So let us go to dimension and uh, let us give this dimension as 150. OK. So now our uh, sketch is fully constrained. So what I will do is I will just uh, draw the tangency lines between these. So I'll just switch off this uh, arc center so that uh, again and again it will take a uh, center point of the circles. So it will be easy for you to draw if you are not selecting the center of the circle. So as you can see here, uh, I have drawn all the lines and these lines are uh, actually tangent. Uh, you can see the vertical small line here. Uh, this line indicates that those two are tangent. So now what I will do is I will just trim out the extra lines here. So press C for the quick trim and uh, let us trim these extra lines. Okay. Yeah. So now, now this is done. So now what we have is there are two circles here with a 80 mm as well as 40 mm. So let us draw these two. One is with the 80 mm and another thing with the 40 mm. So let us make them concentric. Okay, center point. And okay. Now there are there are horizontal and the vertical dimensions are given with the 70 and 120. So let us view those dimensions. So 
small thing horizontal is 120 and uh, vertical is 70 So as you can see here, there are two arcs with a 50 and a 60 radius. So let us go to arc and uh, draw the arc. So I'm just going to draw it blindly. So later we can constrain it anyway. One here as well as one here. So now what I'll do is I'll just give the radius dimension for that. This side it is uh, 50. and this side it is 60 so now I am going to press C and uh, constrain them so this should be tangent to this line as well as the same line tangent should be tangent to this line in the same way this as well Okay, now uh, as you can see here, I'll just uh, hide all the dimensions. So as you can see here, uh, this is not uh, coinciding with the existing line. So I'll just uh, extend it, press E for the extension and extend these two. And here it is an extra portion is there. So let us trim that. Okay, now it is done. So let us show the dimensions again okay now what i will do is i will draw these two circles with a 30 mm radius and 20 mm radius so it should be 40 and uh, 60 so let us draw those two in 40 as well as 60 so this should be concentric so as you can see here this is a 70 and 100 mm uh, dimensions vertical and horizontal so let us give those dimensions the vertical is around 100 mm and the horizontal is uh, 70 mm so now we got these two circles and uh, we have to pattern these uh, other circles instead of uh, draw, drawing it again and again it is better to do the pattern so it will be easy for us so what is the how we can do the patterns we need to use a circular pattern in this case so let us go to pattern and uh, let us choose a circular pattern yeah it is already selected so these two circles i just wanted to make a circular pattern and my point will be like this and as you can see here this uh, makes a sense here so count and span we don't have a span here we have a pitch so count will be 5 counts and the pitch will be 30 so let us select a count and pitch so here you can see count and pitch the count will be 5 and the pitch will be 30 so as you can see here uh, all these are patterned let's click ok now it's so easy to make it now we are left with these uh, arcs as well as these small arcs so let us make it uh, quickly 35 and uh, 40 so i'll draw these uh, arc with a radius of 35 and this arc with a radius of 40 Now as you can see here this uh, arc is already tangent to this line so let us make a tangency between these two press C for the tan uh, constraints so these two should be tangent and as well as here let us make these two and this as well so there is there are extra portions here let us trim those two using the T command 
so you can he you can see here there is an extra portion and as well as this side okay now we are left with only these uh, small arcs here so an arc with a radius of 20 so let us go to fillet so press f for filleting now i will give the radius as uh, 20 now just select these two and it will be created it should be in the opposite direction This should be in the opposite direction, so let us delete and give it again. Press F and use the radius. So now go to dimension and uh, Add everything as you can see here uh, our uh, sketch is ready as per the given input so if you have any doubts please uh, ask in the comment section so I'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you guys please subscribe to my channel